Okay, so got the, the cylinder head in over the piston. Got it off, turned it just with the, the cam chain just to make sure it's running freely up and down. Um, other thing to, to be mindful of is you need to get these little dowels. So um, I'd put them on there, I didn't mention them, they're on the bottom. Um, showing this old cylinder head. There's one on opposing sides at the top and at the bottom, they're both on the same side, which is opposite the cam chain void. Um, if you can see them. There's one there, one there. Just make sure you've got them in, especially if you're changing over the cylinder head and you, you know, um, the new cylinder heads don't come with them, so you've always got to take them out of here. Um, what I do is I've just got a pair of these pliers, just like a small pair of pliers, just sort of for like gripping things, um, undoing, they're actually designed for undoing screws that have been stripped. I use them, go around the screw like that, and I just sort of wiggle it, oh, the dowel, sorry. Hold it firmly and they just go backwards and forwards just to break the the friction and pull it out without damaging too much because if you do scratch this one side they're not going to go back together so well um, what i'll do is throw the head on so i've got the gasket on um can only really go one way i just put that on first make sure it sits down over the dowels so that we can get it on now i'm just going to do the Put the head on. I'm just going to grab that cam chain. It's been a little bit of a pain having that around, hanging around, but as I say, we'll remove and deal with that in the next one. Okay. So it's basically on there now. Make sure everything's gonna go down. It's gonna be tough to help it along its way. I've lost everything now. Just put a new gasket on the top of this cover. Gasket kits are cheap. Um, best just to get one and change it as you go. Now, we have somewhere. Had this all laid out neatly before. Um, the nuts and washers for the top of the head, so. There is brass washers and Just normal standard washers, or copper washers, sorry, and standard washers. And you can see the difference of those guys. So I've always done it, and I think this is the way my bikes have come. This, so as you look at the motor, the top left. So you're looking at it from the, the front, top left, and then um, the opposing side, and then just go to the standard with the other ones. What I'm gonna do, there's not much thread left on them at the moment just because everything isn't pulled down completely. So, just with the dowels and bits and pieces, um, it doesn't always go down all the way. So what I do is I just gently take it up with a 14 mil socket. Just like, like if I'm getting in resistance or pressure there, I'll stop, um, check it out. I'm also checking out all the gaps as I go. Just make sure that they're yeah, you can feel it's just sort of going easily now. It's um lined up all its dowels and bits and pieces you can see there's no pinches no folds in either of the, the gaskets um, and it's tighten up easy now it's just sort of going down so they haven't got their washers so make sure we take them off put them up i'll move back a bit so hopefully you can see 
Um, at this point, I put these bolts in on the side. Um, I have the bottom two bolts, so these are the Phillips head bolts. It's a pretty rusty one. I will clean them up, but um, it's just a Phillips head. I think they're an M6 bolt. Okay, and I just chuck them in now. Tighten them up a little bit, and then we'll come back and, and do that. The ones with the, the brass washers, here and here, I put the dome, the dome nuts on those. Um, again, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, like I've just, I can't really find anywhere it will, where it will tell you. Um, if someone knows, if someone out there knows why they're like that, I'm sure someone will. Um, Maybe if you can put a comment and just let us know why they're like that or if someone wants to search it up. I haven't found anything yet. Um, I haven't looked too hard for it, but I've got an original bike. Um, you know, it's only done 8,000 K since the come out of the factory. So this is the way that they are on it. So I'm going, that's what I'm, I'm basing it on. But again, someone might know the exact reason why they do it. And can teach us all why that's the case but uh, for now I just do it that way because that's that's the way I, I sort of my bike is and it's I've done another engine or another couple few engines uh, with that set up and haven't had any issue so uh, yeah all right what I'm gonna do is just pause the camera for a second I'm gonna tighten up these side bolts and I'm just gonna tighten these up a little bit and then I'll show you how to set the torque wrench to the right setting, uh, what the right setting is, and how I just sort of tighten up the head. And then once that's done, the head and cylinders, everything's on. Um, and then the next video later on, we'll be doing the cam chain once I get that. All right. So, I've tightened up those bolts, um, nuts. I put the washers under these. I think I did that just before. So it's 14 mil. Here's my trusty torque wrench. So it says anywhere between 13 and a half and 15 foot pounds um, of torque to do this up. So I'm just out till I'm on 10, two, four, and lock that off. Okay. So I just do opposing bolts. So Make sure you put the ratchet in the right way, mine out. Now I'm not doing them all the way first up. I'm just sort of doing to the tight. You can see that. So you hear that little click click, means I've got to that 14 pounds. Um, so I'll do the opposite one to that one I did. Like that. And then I'll start the top. Do the next one. Right here. Okay. So that is our head. Cylinder back on new piston installed, uh, rings put on, back together. So um, if you didn't need to do the cam chain, you'd leave the cam chain, it's just sitting in there. Um, you would just leave it how we did it. Um, if you were gonna do the cam chain, you had it all apart, you'd take that out and you wouldn't have, to, so you don't have to worry about that as you're doing it, make it a bit easier. But I think that covers it. Um, just remember you get those dowels in, um, there's a bolt on the side of the head here, that's for the pulley, for the cam chain. I just sort of loosely put that in so I don't lose it. Um, when I get a kit, um, if I get a kit for it, I'll be have, have a new one of these. There's a way to do the, the cam chain so that you know, the 
can jam sprocket the top one won't actually fit in there so it has to come up through here um which means the flywheel has to come off and all that sort of thing but it has to come off anyway to replace the chain the cam chain anyway so um also we got from our good friend Rory Penfold some oil seals so what I'm going to do as I do it I'm going to do the cam chain tensioner o-ring I'm going to do the gear selector seal and I'm also going to do the um front sprocket or the drive shaft seal at the same time um I've got a full set I'm going to put it all in make sure that everything's right make sure and change these little o-rings on the cam chain tension anything that can leak let's just renew it and get it sorted so we don't have to worry about it, as well as new gaskets as i go well thanks for watching i hope that was helpful i hope that if you're doing a um a piston changeover or removing or putting the head back on for something um that that will help you out and make it a bit clearer um yeah thanks for watching and one lucky person is going to get this bike at the end of the day and i'm I'm um, doing everything I can to make sure it's a good bike for him. So, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.